Hello and welcome back to Sniper X Learners Walkthrough of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Alright, last time we finished up Hurricos and this time going into Aquaria Towers. I said last episode it was Aquatos Towers. And I apologize. My bad. Douchebag. Give him the water. Guess who gets it? His buddy. Because, screw you. Anyway, the only reason I said Aquatos last time was because there's a Ratchet and Clank level that, uh, it's called, there's a Ratchet and Clank planet called Aquatos. Because, uh, you don't go through levels, you go through planets and stuff. And you hit walls and stuff. Not as frequently. Spyro, though, but you still hit walls. So, there. Have that one. Anyway, what can you say to me? The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Yes, sir. Your face looks derpy while you duck. And while you breathe, in general. I think I'm gonna use that as a thumbnail. Like, like an extreme close-up or something, I don't know. Anyway, what do you get to say now that you can dri swim? The shock stick guys are tough. Yesterday they turned Vern, our giant squid, into fried calamari. That's... That's horrifying, dude. I mean, for him it's probably the most horrifying thing he's ever seen. Just saying. Anyway, let's continue on. I like this game, but I don't like how it can take really dark turns. Like, that, though. It's not too much of a dark turn because Kill is a very. very. Uh, very used word, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Like, just about anybody will use that word, and it really won't mean anything until the action is done. But that's that's a different story for a different time, I suppose. <laughs> nah, don't worry, I ain't killed nobody. Nobody has made me that mad that I'd have to forcibly end their life. Nah, that ain't me. I'm a good person. Metal sharks. That's what's that's what a killer looks like. You know, I read a fact the other day. Uh, uh, it was while I was processing too. It was a shark fact, so I'm not sure. I, I mean, it was on a it was on a product, so I'm sure they could lie if they wanted to. But this is something that you probably shouldn't lie about. Uh, ki sharks killed by people. 38 million people killed by sharks. Five million. Or not five million, five, five. Such a little number, and that's. And why are we so scared of sharks? Because we hear of them like hurting. Well, hurting, <laughs> killing all these animals and fish. Well, not animals, fish. Like, because they gotta eat to survive too. But uh, you're really only in danger if you're bleeding, I suppose. That's what they uh. That's what they're attracted to. The fish we fear the most has only killed, in total, five people. And we kill so many of them because we're afraid of them. It sucks how humanity can be. Going back to that one episode. <laughs> I, Spyro. I presume you want my money. To get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I Unless I pay I you like 500? Submarine, For a modest fee, of course. A modest fee of like a thousand? No? A hundred? Alright. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shot proof. I guarantee it. <laughs> Sound like that dude off the men's warehouse commercials. I guarantee it. Watch when the shark just like rips out the motor, explodes the thing, and starts eating Spyro. Oh wait. That took a dark turn. 
<laughs> I'm a good person. Why did you automatically jump me off? Douchebag. Hold on a second. Now we're back. That was funny. You should really start shocking animals more often, dude. I don't know, Spyro 2 trying to make a statement against animal abuse by other animals or something. I don't know. Now, there's always 10 gems in here that I will off. And we're back, and I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I think I was talking about the 10 gems located up next to here. I, like, always forget them. It was either that or it was somewhere else. I think I know where that somewhere else is, though. So, let's go do that, then. Before we move on and talk to Mr. Guy. Because you can get this previously. You go up here. Behind here is five gems, actually. Oh. It was five gems that I kept missing. Never mind. Alright. Uh, not gonna mess with those guys. Nah. Not those metal shark things. Go, Sasha. Go! Or do you wanna watch? <laughs> My girlfriend's friend's dog is now sitting and recording with me. Which is just fun. I like the little... He is cute. So adorable. She like pops up into my lap when she comes over. It's adorable. Our world is wet again. We Yay. all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Okay. It's a shell. Yay. Alright. Now we get to do the interesting part. Uh, where's the hole in the ceiling? There it is. Go up through here. And now... We have this to do. But I want to show you something real quick, guys. I want to do this. You'll see why in a second. I mean, uh... It's not much, but it's fun. I just You just gotta ram towards the ground and keep ramming forward and you can break the level everybody loves that don't we okay um, you gotta be careful though because some spots will make you die make you fall through the level hey okay, there's something there hey you guys like this I like it just swimming everywhere we go not really caring about death or destruction or doom. Hey, I found one of the guys. I don't think I can get through there, can I? <laughs> I totally can't. <gasps> oh, that's funny. I just saved one and I didn't even mean to. You did it. Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. Wait, what? Did I just cheat the system? I'm supposed to save like six of those little guys. And I just... <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. I just cheated the game. Here, I heard you collecting these at orbs. Take this one. Okay. I didn't even know that was a thing, honestly. You want my honest opinion. I just... I knew you could like glitch through the bottom of the level. And that's what I planned on doing. I just didn't. I was just curious, like, hey, can I save one of these guys even though I haven't even started the quest yet? Yep. And apparently I got the right one, too. I got the last one. That's pretty funny. And I got an orb for free. A free orb, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't think I'll be saving the rest of them, though. That may be a horrible thing to say, but, uh, I already got the orb for it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's break Spyro the Dragon. Funny thing is, most of the things I learned of it, how to do on here, there's from a series these two guys, two best friends play, this, this, and this. Uh, they played Spyro 2, and they broke it, like, they so broke it. <laughs> uh, see, the problem with not getting those guys, I have no idea if I'm missing gems in there or not. Oh, Lance is quite... Hold on a second. Sorry. Our dog likes, uh, 
Lexi's best friend's dog a lot. So, I guess it's a separation anxiety sort of thing. I can hear him scampering around outside the door right now. Uh, I think that might be it. Except for the gems. Yeah, except for the gems to get for the sharks. Hi, Hunter. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. <laughs> Where'd you get that idea? And pray tell, how are you talking underwater? Great. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Aww, you care about it so much as if it were a car. Even though it's an actual living, breathing animal. Just saying. You know, though. Maybe I'll see if I got any, uh, gems I missed around here. I got it, sweet. Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Again, Hunter. If you have this orb, and you're making me work for it, I have a simple question, and it's one word. It's called, why? Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? You want me to train him, so you don't have to. Hey, good luck, douchebag. I see how it is. Make me, make me go through a harder course to get gems or orbs, orbs that you are consciously withholding from me, orbs that will help me save the world. Yeah, I see how you are, douchebag. Uh, there's that one, that one. This one is a bit harder. I have flubbed up on it a couple times in the past. Because he is a little tricky to follow. He can be at least. But I got it. Incredible. Incredible. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. You withholding all these orbs from me, man. Just be straight up with me. I gotta save this world, you know what I'm saying? But I guess not. Anyway. That made me jump a little bit. Dang it. Uh, I think one of the dogs hit the door. Wait, I forgot what I was gonna say. Never mind. Uh, where's the thingy? There's a thingy. There's the thingy. It's the fire power-up that I can use underwater because it's power. Boom. I can do that. I make things explode. You know what I'm going to make explode? I'm going to make these douchebags explode. Bye. Bye. Uh, you're supposed to die, sir. Thank you. Hit, hit that douchebag. I think there's a uh, skill point in it for you. In it. In... Hey, this lasts a while. Let's go get it recharged. And go do those ones near money bags. Because he wants my money. I hate that beeping noise. It's always been the bane of my childhood. My childhood. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down here. Let's not really worry about those until we up those guys get this thing and I think we're you no know, not good yet not good yet hey I shot at you sir gosh you know I don't like being told that I couldn't do it I don't like being told even though I shot you sir that I didn't shoot you because I knew I shoot you I knew I shot at you you just just go be mean. Uh, are they still there? Of course they're there. Um, I ain't gonna have you eaten. Okay. Yay. Well, at least it doesn't show Spyro Eviscerator or something. Hello. How you doing? Lexi's back. Anyway. Let's try not to be eaten by the metal sharks this time. Please, Spyro. Either that or I'm not doing it right. It would suck. And 
there goes Lexi. Alright. Okay. Uh, and I'm not doing it right. Dang it. Mahogany. I'm not interested in what you're selling, Mr. Shark. You're selling death, and I'm not interested. Not at all. Let's see about... I, I know I've said this like five times already, but let's see about not dying this time. Because, uh, that's something we should all invest in, if I'm, if I'm being very honest. We should all invest in non-death. Death spells are really good for you in Final Fantasy. You can make your opponent dead, but, uh, let's, let's invest in not death. Alright, uh, after this, I hope that's the end of all the gems. Hoping it missing. Let's see, uh, go to the guidebook. Query Tower's 99%. I got five more gems to do. Uh, some force 72, er, no. Yeah, this is 72, because I got 10 more gems, but two more orbs left to do. And the summer forest, I'm missing one thing. I'm missing 15 gems as well. So, let's get out of this five the rest of these five gear not yes yes I think there are five gems here so it said I'm getting mixed up smoothie kebabbles get all mixed up you know what I'm saying uh zero boot zero not here I knew I'd miss some gems I just didn't know where I would oh I missed this one there were ten gems up there it's just I missed them Yay! Let's go exit through the actual exit. Because I like cutscenes. Go through the portal. Thank you. <laughs> that buddy just shit himself. He about shit himself too. Because that's actually real. He's laughing at him like, <laughs> you're a fake, just like I was. That's funny. That's another 400 gems in our pocket. Alright. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Hey. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Magic. Okay, Spyro. Jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck. So you're pretty much going to stand there, wait for a sheep to come by, stand there even longer, and then go chase after it and toss it after me. Douchebag. No, I'm just kidding. Laura's a nice person. It's just... Uh... Anyway, uh, that's all my time for today. For this episode of Spyro the Dargan. Um, next time we'll be doing something else. Obviously. I think we'll be going towards the ocean speedway this next time. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Sparks looking at the camera, because why not? <laughs> thank you all very much for watching this episode of Spyro 2, Rada Rada, goodbye, goodnight. Ah!